the Supreme Court's landmark ruling protecting LGBTQ work rights. Today, the court ruled the Civil Rights Act covers gay and transgender workers, extending protections to millions of workers in the U.S. It means they cannot be fired for their, for their sexual orientation. The ruling is considered a defeat for the Trump administration. Steve Campion is now here live with the very latest. Chauncey, this is a watershed moment for LGBT rights in America. You know, Houston tried years ago to pass a law saying you can't fire someone based on their sexual orientation or gender identity. Voters ultimately rejected that idea at the ballot box. The Supreme Court said today that is already the law of the land. What this means really is it gives people like me uh, the, the comfort and the safety of knowing that when I go into a place of work, I cannot be fired simply because of uh, my sexual orientation, who I love, or because of my gender identity. The highest court in the land has affirmed that if you are fired for being gay or transgender, that that is defying the law. Today, in a historic ruling, the United States Supreme Court said the Civil Rights Act of 1964 protects LGBT people from discrimination in the workplace. For those like Brad Pritchett, and others, they fought hard for such protections on a local level years ago, only to see voters reject them at the ballot box. They say today is different. It wasn't close. This wasn't um, a decision that you know we eked by on with uh, progressive justices. We had two conservative justices who supported this as well, including a Trump appointee. Um, that, I think, really does kind of demonstrate that LGBTQ non-discrimination isn't so much a partisan issue at this point. That's why I said that the ruling was so surprising to see those two justices specifically come down, you know, on the side with the other, you know, liberal um, justices. Um, uh, I think, if anything, it's a testament to the fact that uh, it's possible to have bipartisanship and it's possible for us to work together in order to achieve a better society. Now, President Trump's administration fought hard against this, saying the civil rights law only offered protections based on sex. We did reach out to the Harris County Republican Party to see if they have a response about all this. We are waiting for an update. We're live in downtown Houston, Steve Campion, 13 Eyewitness News. All right, Steve, thank you. I mean, while there are... This is a big day for LGBT rights in this country. On a local level, leaders here in Houston have tried in the past to pass such measures only to be defeated at the ballot box. But again, the United States Supreme Court ruled today that federal law says you cannot be fired from a job because of your sexual orientation or gender identity. For the Supreme Court to reaffirm it today is a monumental thing. I mean, it's, it's really difficult to have a one-line sentence kind of that describes it, but it's, it's an overwhelmingly positive thing for the community. Brad Pritchett fought hard to get Houston's Equal Rights Ordinance passed in 2015. The measure would have given LGBT Houstonians protection from discrimination in the workplace. For Houston, I mean, our, our struggle around non-discrimination has been a, a ping-pong kind of match for years and years. We've had protections, they've been repealed, we've had them, they've been repealed, we've had them, they've been repealed. Today, in a historic ruling, the United States Supreme Court said the Civil Rights Act of 1964 protects lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender Americans. They cannot be fired for who they love or what gender they identify as. That's really important that they can't be fired simply because they choose to transition or because they um, you know, are revealed that they are a transgender person. Um, so this really gives us that kind of safety and comfort and knowing that we have access to fair employment just like everybody else. Austin Davis Ruiz with Houston's GLBT political caucus called the ruling today a big win. I think if anything, it's a testament to the fact that uh, it's possible to have bipartisanship and it's possible for us to work together in order to achieve a better society. You know, at the end of the day, all we really want is just to enjoy the same rights as everyone else. This really does kind of, it's, it's planting a flag in the ground for equality in a really big way. And Eric and Alona, President Trump's administration fought hard against this. They argued that the civil rights law only offered protections based on sex. So we have reached out to the Harris County Republican Party to see if they have a comment about this historic ruling. We will update you if we get one. We are live in downtown Houston, Steve Camp 13 Eyewitness News. Oh.